This update claims to do three things, add new functions, optimize existing ones, and address bugs. But did Thinker just secretly remove key programming from the ThinkScan 689 with an update? One of you reached out to me with the comment, I think in the update they got rid of the key matching, also known as key programming, and so I'm going to be testing that today because I haven't done any updates since I reviewed this tool some months ago, and so the plan is simple, I'll attempt an all keys lost on my 2017 Honda Accord, update the ThinkScan 689 and then see if I can still program keys to this car. Now let's get this. Just to say that I'm going to be taking one for the team, that's if it turns out that key programming no longer works after this update. So it will mean a lot to me if you could like and subscribe. This key is currently programmed to the car and as you can hear it locks and unlocks the car while the second key isn't programmed and as such is unable to lock or unlock any of the doors. I'll place this one that works in a sleeve just to make it easier for you to follow. This update is for the Think Car software that runs the 689 and if we leave here and go into the specific vehicle updates you can see that the Honda software is at its latest version and so for round one let's attempt an all keys lost on this car before updating the scanner I'll select anti-theft slash key matching and it gives you the disclaimer which most third-party tools now have and then it goes further to tell you that if the operation fails you should go through the special functions menu under diagnosis for the very car you're working on because I'm doing an all keys lost I'll leave the ignition off, take the key that works and place that outside of the vehicle and shut the door. The tool should be able to turn the ignition on. I'll keep the unprogrammed car key on the dash, scroll down and select Honda. Switch the ignition on. That won't work. I'll just say OK. Retrieving vehicle information. Please wait. Does this car have a keyless access remote one push start system? Yes. Place the smart key near the engine start stop button and press the button with your hand or the smart key. Let's do that. Don't release the button until the ignition is turned on. And the ignition comes on but you can see here that the immobilizer light is flashing meaning that the car is not going to start the tool confirms that the ignition is on okay retrieving vehicle info please wait select keyless access remote system a few more notes or disclaimers which i do nothing with i'll select honda smart key and then all honda smart keys lost a few things to note there shouldn't be any diagnostic trouble codes reduce sources of interference such as the radio so i've turned my off. I've also put my phone on airplane mode, close the door and so on, turn the ignition switch off, take one original keyless access key into the vehicle, I already have mine on the dash, can you turn the ignition switch on normally, I can't so I'll choose no and we go through the same process that we did earlier and the tool turns on the ignition while I depress the start button with the key. How many keys do you want to program? I'll just select one. Turn the ignition switch off. Confirm that the smart key is in the car. Yes, it is. Turn the ignition switch on with the key. Let's do that. And the ignition switch comes on. Turn the ignition off. Okay. Turn the ignition on again with the key that you're programming. Okay. Does the immobilizer light go off? And you can see that light is no longer there. Yes. Key registration has completed. Turn the ignition switch off. Check that the key or keys that you just programmed are working. And as you can hear, it now locks and unlocks the car and the process completes. Now, if that worked, the key outside the car should no longer work. And as you can hear, it generates no response from the car. I went ahead and updated the scanner software. I actually thought I had my camera rolling, but it wasn't. However, the software is now updated. And as you can see in this interface, there's this new app tab, which wasn't there before. And going into it, you can see that the software for the device is the latest. And now when I go into vehicle, 
Micro Softwares. You can see that Honda now has an update. Let's get that update. The update completes. Let's reattempt the all keys lost programming. I go back into maintenance and the anti theft or key matching function is still there. I won't bore you with a repeat of the entire process, but here's the moment where the ignition came on with me just depressing the start button using the second unprogrammed key. The immobilizer light is flashing just like before. I then went through the entire procedure and just like before, the all keys lost was successful and this key now unlocks the car while the one that I programmed some moments ago no longer works on the car. And so this update didn't take away key programming from the ThinkScan 689. Be sure to check out my full review of the tool. Links to the device are down below if you want to have a look and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.